Hi friends, welcome to Anand Science Academy. In this video, let's discuss very short answer questions that is one mark questions from the chapter 11 Biotechnology Principles and Processes. Here is the first question. What are the two components of the first artificial recombinant DNA molecule constructed by Cohen and Boyer? Answer. The two components were antibiotic resistance gene and plasmid vector of Salmonella typhimurium. Mention the uses of cloning vector in biotechnology. Answer. Cloning vectors are used for transferring fragments of foreign DNA into a suitable host. They are also used to select recombinants from non-recombinants. Biotechnologists refer to Agrobacterium tumefaciens as a natural genetic engineer of plants. Give reasons to support the statement. Answer This is because Agrobacterium tumefaciens can transfer genes naturally by delivering a piece of tDNA to plant cells. It has a tumor inducing plasmid. Why is the enzyme cellulase needed for isolating genetic material from plant cells and not from the animal cells? Answer. The enzyme cellulase breaks down cellulose which is present in the cell walls of plants but absent in animal cells. Suggest a technique to a researcher who needs to separate fragments of DNA. Answer. Gel electrophoresis is used to separate DNA fragments. Here is the next question. How does an alien DNA gain entry into a plant cell by biolistics method? Answer. In biolistics method, cells are bombarded with high velocity microparticles of gold or tungsten coated with DNA. Why ETBR, Ethidium bromide, is used in gel electrophoresis in spite of it being highly carcinogenic? Answer. Ethidium bromide exchanges its visible range of wavelength with the invisible wavelength of DNA to make it visible under UV light. Mention the type of host cells suitable for the gene guns to introduce an alien DNA. Answer Plant cells. Next question Why is it not possible for an alien DNA to become part of a chromosome? anywhere along its length and replicate normally. Answer 
alien DNA must be linked to ORI or origin of replication site to start replication. Name the host cells in which micro injection technique is used to introduce an alien DNA. Answer animal cells. Next question. Write the name of the enzymes that are used for isolation of DNA from bacterial and fungal cells respectively for recombinant DNA technology. Answer. Bacterial cell is treated with the enzyme lysozyme. Fungal cell is treated with the enzyme chitinase. Which main technique and instrument is used to isolate DNA from any plant cell? Answer. The technique is centrifugation and the instrument is centrifuge. Next question. What is the cell that receives a recombinant gene called? Answer. Competent host cell or recipient cell. Identify the reason for selection of DNA polymerase from Thermus aquaticus for polymerase chain reaction. Here is the answer. DNA polymerase from Thermus aquaticus remains active during the high temperature induced denaturation of double stranded DNA. How is repetitive or satellite DNA separated from bulk genomic DNA for various genetic experiments? Answer By density gradient centrifugation technique. Next question How can Bacterial DNA be released from the bacterial cell for biotechnology experiments. Answer. The bacterial cell wall is digested by the enzyme lysozyme to release DNA from the cell. Here comes the next question. How is copy number of the plasmid vector Related to yield of recombinant protein. Answer. A higher number of copies of plasmid vector helps in producing a large quantity of recombinant protein. Next question. Would you choose an exonuclease while producing a recombinant DNA molecule? Answer. Exonuclease removes nucleotides from the ends of the DNA and hence it cannot help in producing circular DNA. So, exonuclease cannot be used for making a recombinant DNA molecule. What does H I N D and 3 refer to in the enzyme HIND3? Answer In the enzyme HIND3, H 
ഐ എൻ റെഫേഴ്സ് ടു ഹീമോഫിലസ് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ ഡി റെഫേഴ്സ് ടു ദ സ്ട്രെയിൻ ഓഫ് ഹീമോഫിലസ് ഇൻഫ്ലുവൻസ ആൻഡ് ദ റോമൻ നമ്പർ ത്രീ റെഫേഴ്സ് ടു ദ സീക്വൻസ് ഇൻ വിച്ച് ദിസ് എൻസൈം വാസ് ഡിസ്കവേർഡ് റെസ്ട്രിക്ഷൻ എൻസൈംസ് ഷുഡ് നോട്ട് ഹാവ് മോർ ദാൻ വൺ സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് ആക്ഷൻ ഇൻ ദ ക്ലോണിംഗ് സൈറ്റ് ഓഫ് എ വെക്ടാർ കമൻറ്റ് ആൻസർ പ്രസൻസ് ഓഫ് മോർ ദാൻ വൺ റിക്കഗ്നിഷൻ സൈറ്റ് ഓൺ വെക്ടാർ വിൽ ജനറേറ്റ് മെനി ഫ്രാഗ്മെൻസ് ഓഫ് ഡി എൻ എ വിച്ച് വിൽ കോംപ്ലിക്കേറ്റ് ദ മാറ്റർ ഹെൻസ് റെസ്ട്രിക്ഷൻ എൻസൈംസ് should have one recognition site at a vector what does competent refer to in competent cells used in transformation experiments answer the ability of the bacterial cell to take up dna through pores in cell wall is called competence dna is a hydrophilic molecule and hence it cannot pass through the cell membrane so cell is made competent by treating with suitable divalent ion like calcium what is the significance of adding proteases at the time of isolation of genetic material answer protease helps in removing protein during the process of obtaining pure dna other macromolecules are eliminated with the help of suitable enzymes during this process at the end pure dna is isolated next question while doing a pcr denaturation step is missed what will be its effect on the process answer if denaturation is missed then primers will not be able to join at the template this will result in no extension no amplification and thus a large number of copies of dna cannot be made name a recombinant vaccine that is currently being used in the vaccination program answer hepatitis b vaccine next question do biomolecules like dna protein exhibit biological activity in anhydrous conditions here is the answer biomolecules do not exhibit biological activity in anhydrous conditions dna may get damaged under anhydrous conditions but has the ability to repair later on protein molecules may get denatured under anhydrous conditions what modification is done on the ti plasmid of agrobacterium tumefaciens to convert it into a cloning vector answer ti plasmid in agrobacterium has the ability to induce tumor in plants this plasmid is disarmed by suitable modification and that it can be used 
as a cloning vector for delivering gene of interest to plants and animals. Hope this video is helpful for your preparation. I'll meet you with another set of questions in the next video. All the best.